So uh, this is found under the Reports tab here at the top. Go to Other Reports and click on Calendar Creator. Now you've got several different tabs here. Uh, the first is where you tell uh, Legacy what you want to include on the calendar. Uh, do you want who you want to include? Do you want to include only the living individuals in your file? Everyone, only deceased ones. And if you know a little bit about tagging, you can actually filter this. So, uh, And I've done that for calendars I've created where I've gone to my grandparents and I've tagged all of their descendants. And so the, the calendar that uh, I print in the end is just a calendar of my grandparents' descendants. Okay, so you get to choose who you want to have uh, show up on your calendar from, from here. Options, how, how it looks, and here's where you can say, I want to just include birthdays, I want anniversaries, or just anniversaries. Uh, so let's do, let's just do birthdays for now, and I'll keep the language as English. Fonts, format, uh, pictures and here's the months so make sure that you're on the correct year you might you might do this in preparation for next year um, and then you can uh, tell it to select all and so this will create a complete calendar I'm gonna just I'm gonna just do it for just this month and what else other other things I just like to click on the preview button to see what it looks like with the options I've got set so let's do that now so here's September with whatever options and colors. I don't really like the <laughs> the color selection here, but I can adjust that if I'd like to. Uh, and I'll zoom in. So let's just take a look at what it shows here on the 30th. So uh, this is these are some of my ancestors. It looks like because I can tell that because these this is how old they would be if they were still alive today. So Robert Camp, 423 years ago, shares my 10-year-old. Uh, uh, birthday. Now I can see that uh, there's additional people. Just with the number of people in my family file, it won't all fit here. And so, I'll uh, let me zoom all the way out. And these are this is uh, the kind of the calendar's appendix. So go to where September 30th shows up, and here's the rest of those. And so, um, my guess is Braden shows up. Yeah, Braden's the youngest. Uh, September 30th of everybody in my family file. So that's one way of getting to the uh, to the this this kind of a calendar, anyways. Let me click on the close button. And there was one other under other reports. There's what's called the calendar list. Same type of thing, but it's not in calendar format. Let's just see who we're going to include um, to protect the living. Let's just do only deceased. Options looks good, and yeah, let's just do September of 2015. So this will look more like uh, like a list format. So there you have it.